Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here and today I thought I would discuss my absolute favourite and must have books for natural bodybuilding that in my opinion belong in every library or at least in every library of a person that is just starting bodybuilding or is at least in an intermediate stage. I'm going to go through um, several books uh, and I've been asked many questions. I mean being a collector and owner of such a huge library of books, some of them are back here, um, you know, all this literature and stuff, it's understandable why I've received this request many, many times. Um, people keep asking me just which ones, which books do I think are the best books? Um, and I'm gonna try and answer that. It's, it's a very hard question to answer because the books you necessarily choose to read are entirely based on the knowledge you already possess. Like, for example, if you're a complete novice that's never touched a weight ever, you know, I would want to be selecting a range of books that would help me learn to exercise, you know, the technique, to program, nutrition, things like that, right? Um, but if you're already an intermediate, for example, you've, you've, you've done weightlifting or powerlifting or something and want to move into bodybuilding, you know, you want to make that switch, this kind of trainee wouldn't need to learn the bench press, they wouldn't need to learn the squat but they would want a different selection of books and, and knowledge that helps them shape their muscles, right? So for this reason, it's a very difficult uh, straight answer to give, but I want to address, um, you know, I thought I would address the answer to this question using this approach, using, you know, the absolute novice and the person that has developed strength and size and now wants to shape. So let's have a look at first at what I consider are the best beginner's books, right? If you're a complete beginner, and I mean complete beginner, um, you've got no clue about bodybuilding or, or weights or nothing, you've got no access to a gym, or you have access to a gym, but are still completely clueless in regards to bodybuilding, um, I would say that the best books, the best books for beginners would be Starting Strength by, um, and that's Starting Strength Basic Barbell Training, it's called, by Mark Ripito. I'm going to go through that. I don't actually have a physical copy with me. I've got others here that were stacked up. And I'm going to go through the others. Um, uh, I'm, going to, I mean, I'm going to go through starting strength, but just show you some images from my um, Kindle edition. Uh, I've got, uh, as, as a second book, Beyond Brawn is another one. Uh, the Insider's Encyclopedia, that is, on how to build muscle and might. Written by Stuart McRobert. I've actually covered it in plastic. That's how much I... I care for this book. So first is Starting Strength, second is Beyond Brawn. And this book actually goes together with the Insider's Tell All Handbook on weight training technique. Uh, they, they're actually kind of, you know, one joint. You're supposed to buy one with the other, right? Also by Stuart McRobert. In my opinion, Starting Strength and these two books by Stuart McGraw, Beyond Strength, uh, Beyond sorry, Beyond Brawn, and the Weight Training Technique book, are especially useful uh, if you are a novice who you know, say like 100, 120 pound weakling, basically a, a thin, you know, person, no, no experience, wants to gain strength and weight. You know, these books will teach you how to get big and brawny naturally, naturally progressively and safely. The time, you know, for supersetting, forced reps, high volume, split routines, etc., that comes later. Understand it, that comes much, much later. These books truly teach you how to build a foundation of strength and size and are based on the golden era programs, for example, like those of Reg Parks, like Reg Parks 5x5, or the 20 rep squat. That's what I love about these books. Um, now, moving on to starting strength, I think it's, it belongs in everybody's library. It is, to me, one of the best books ever written for weightlifters, for bodybuilders, etc. Um, the book is now in its third edition. Again, the author, Mark Ripito, great coach. Um, as I said, it's called by many as one of the best and most useful books on building strength because it is one of building strength and muscle because it is one of the few books that goes into incredible depth and detail as to how to perform the basic barbell uh, exercises you know now unless you're not aware of it yet um, 
if you are trying to build size and strength, you know, even Don Howard said it, you know, barbells for strength, dumbbells for shaping, right? Everybody knows that. You want to build size and strength, use the barbell. And this book, Starting Strength, teaches you the most basic barbell exercises, such as the squat, deadlift, bench press, uh, rows, that is bar bent over uh, barbell rowing, shoulder presses, and the power clean. Oh, that's six. <laughs> right, so six, six are the most basic uh, exercises to progress both in, in weight poundage and, and repetition, right? So you're going to get strong and you're going to get big. Uh, the book encourages beginners to start on this abbreviated program three times a week with a focus on gaining, again, both muscle and strength. And, it, and it, I'll mention it again, it's quite similar to Reg Park's 5x5. Five five. Uh, the reason I personally love this book uh, so much is that when I started out, um, I had no coach and little guidance. I mean, I got I got fairly strong, you know, I was, I was uh, squatting two and a half to three plates. I was benching uh, almost three plates at the time and deadlifting three and a half, you know. Uh, but my technique wasn't great. And only when I switched to starting strength, you know, this book essentially taught me how to squat correctly and deadlift and bench press. And, you know, basically my, my numbers skyrocketed after that. And, and my technique got so good that it was to the point where people began, when I began training in the gym and people saw me, they wanted me to start coaching them because they saw my technique. They were like, man, your technique is beautiful. Uh, and the execution, and, and I said, my numbers skyrocketed, right? Uh, people started to approach me to, to, to coach them. Saying, they're saying, are you a coach? I mean, you're, I've never seen such perfect squatting technique or such perfect bench pressing technique. You, you do everything perfectly, right? So... It's really like if you don't have access to a coach, as I said, or a good or a good um, gym with good instructors, and, and believe me, there's many. I would say most gyms are horrible, right? Especially with, with coaches. Most places you're going to go in, they're just going to show you go straight to the machines, right? They have no idea what they're talking about. Starting strength will teach you how to perform these basic movements: the squat, deadlift, bench press, shoulder press, rows, and the clean uh, using the barbell. Fantastic book. Um, also, what I like is that uh, you know it's it's a great book for for the complete novice who has never lifted a weight because you're gonna also learn not just be, besides perfect technique you're gonna learn programming. The programming is very realistic for a natural lifter. That's what I really like. Right. The book also teaches the novice what equipment is needed to, to start your own gym. So you don't. This is a very common misconception that a lot of people. I think they need to go to the gym, um, you know, they want to get big and strong. They think there's two things I need to do. Go to the gym and buy protein. No. I understand that gyms weren't even available back then during this, the golden and silver era. There, there weren't many around. Most people relied on their own home gyms. And that's what this book is great for, especially in situations like nowadays with the pandemic, right? So it's going to teach you um, what equipment is is the most basic equipment needed to start your own gym. And you quickly realize how simple but effective a home gym can be with some weights, you know, a power rack and a bench and a barbell. I mean, that's it. That's all you really need to start your journey in strength and muscle, right? That's it. All right, moving on. Second book that I want to talk about, or the next two books, of course, are by Stuart McRobert. I already showed you these. Um, I find these incredibly useful for those especially, and this was me, this is the boat I was in, uh, for those that are not necessarily complete novices and have had a few months to a few years of experience in the gym, and, that, and I'm talking frustrating years or months, right, with little or no gains, right, that was me in my late teens, early 20s, right, these are the actual books that completely changed my life as a lifter, these are some of the first books I ever bought, right? The first book I actually bought was Education of a Bodybuilder by Arnold. I mean, come on, classic, right? Uh, but then after being, uh, you know, following all these split routines and all this nonsense, I got nowhere, right? Uh, when I got back into bodybuilding, these saved me. These were the, the books, you know. When I first uh, left my home gym uh, for a commercial gym, I, I tried the muscle and fitness programs. Uh, other advanced programs from the stars and that I really had no right in performing 
and after a year and a half of effort, uh, all I had to show for it was a frozen shoulder, tr torn trapezius, completely torn here at uh, at the at the back. I, my arm, I couldn't move it past this point. I was so so screwed right from the injury. And basically, um, I had nothing to show for it except this injury. And it, after some, uh, what was it? Some some orthopedic um, manipulations over six months and swimming, I was able to get back into the gym. McRoberts books literally were like the answer to my prayers as it told me the truth about competitive bodybuilding and the programs used by steroid users that truly a natural lifter uh, can't possibly use unless they are quite advanced. I mean, I reckon, you know, I, I am in the belief that, I mean, now I'm also more of an intermediate lifter, that the high volume, high frequency approach can work more uh, the more advanced you are. But if you're a full young novice, you know, 100 pound weakling, forget it, right? Uh, you know, there is that time for the high frequency and volume. But in my opinion, it's completely useless if you are underweight, like 100 pounds, and you're a weakling. If you're thin and weak, like I used to be decades ago, you want to build your strength and size intelligently and safely. And therefore, using abbreviated programs, such as those found in Starting Strength and Beyond Brawn, uh, in my opinion, are the absolute best ways to do so, as they focus on golden era techniques that will put on size and strength on any frame, and these have been used for you know the last century. Right? Uh, now, Beyond Brawn, is truly an encyclopedia on how to build muscle and might. I mean, it's really thick as well. Um, and it introduces you to the silver era method of the 20 rep squat. I love it, it's fantastic. As well as how to eat for strength and mass. Once again, the programs are abbreviated, training three times a week using basic movements like the squat, deadlift, bench press, shoulder press, dips, you know, chins. Uh, the focus, like starting strength, is on building both muscle and strength. It also teaches you how to build your own home gym using, once again, minimal equipment uh, like starting strength does. And all you need, again, is a power rack, barbell with weights, and a bench. Super, super easy. The accompanying book, as I already mentioned, is the Insider's Tell All Handbook on Weight Training Technique. And to me, it's one of the best books I have ever read on exercise technique and cuts to the chase on the most effective yet safe exercises for bodybuilding. I still use it to this day. You can see uh, I've put all my marks on it on the side here. As I'm always trying to improve my technique in exercises, uh, you know, it teaches you safe and effective exercise form so that you can stay injury free and keep gaining and gaining. I just want to show you some of the, you know, the pictures in here and it's just uh, really good. Like you can see that it, there's chapters for every single major exercise. Um, in this book, right? And variations, of course. I mean, it's, it's really fantastic, the bench press there. Now, let's go to some of the major ones. What have we got here? The pullover. Um, shrugs. So it's got all these variations, as you can see. Um, incline, bench, uh, racks, rack, uh, you know, it's, it's fantastic. It's, it's really, really, really good. I highly recommend this book um, and this one as well. I mean, both of these by Stuart McRobert. So they are the top three uh, for beginners. Once again, uh, weight training technique. That's uh, the Insider's Tell All Handbook on Weight Training Technique, which is the accompanying book to Beyond Brawn and, of course, Starting Strength. All right, moving on. Now... Now that we've talked about the best books for novice and beginners, let's say you're a powerlifter or an Olympic weightlifter or someone with size. Let's say you've played a rugby for, for X amount of years, right? And, uh, you know, you're a big brawly guy. You happen to have followed, you know, maybe abbreviated programs like the 5x5 or like the 20 rep squat, whatever, for some years. You, you're 200 pounds. Uh, an intermediate lifter with, with some strength, and you're ready to shape up and you want to move into bodybuilding. Uh, basically, it's trainees like this that would not need books like Starting Strength or Beyond Brawn. Instead, I would recommend books that focus on shaping and sculpting and defining as, you know, that's basically what you're looking for. 
as much as some of you may call me a fanboy, my favorite books for shaping and defining have to be those of Vince Gironda, um, namely the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. And the reason I say this is that you know you got to understand that Vince um, would receive many out of shape lifters in his gym, and you know he would create miracles by shaping them up. You know, um, as he said. Everyone, this is a quote that Vince said actually, everyone is a diamond, a diamond in the rough, you know. And this was the kind of trainer that could make a diamond in the rough sparkle and shine, right? Um, so they, they are the, the three books. Now, just give me a second. I've got the Wild Physique here. I don't have the Master Series here or the Pro Series, but just bear with me. All right. Here we have the uh, Wild Physique. If you're going to shape up your body the Vince Gironda way, then you would need to learn his bodybuilding methods. And the Wild Physique is literally the ABCs of Vince Gironda's bodybuilding method. And he teaches you his different exercises, nutritional approach, and his overall approach to bodybuilding. Right? So the overall approach to bodybuilding is the first few pages. All right? And then he starts going through all the different exercises that you can use um, to shape your body, right? He teaches you all, all his different, um, all his different exercises for the different body parts. That's how the book is actually kind of organized, right? Um, he goes through all there, there they are, all the different body parts and all the different exercises for each body part. As well as that, he goes through um, his nutritional approach, right? So, yeah, and his overall approach to bodybuilding. Reading this book, in a way, teaches you the language of Vince's uh, bodybuilding. You know, it's, it's like Vince Gironda's bodybuilding language. Whilst the other two books, the Master Series and the Pro Series, teaches you how to apply the language you learn from this book. You know, the philosophy, the Vince Gironda way. And it helps you then apply this knowledge to build your own masterpiece. So once you learn the Vince you're on the exercises and nutritional knowledge from the wild physique uh, the master series puts it all together Vince Ronda acts like your personal trainer for 14 months and in this in-depth complete program your exercise programs and nutrition are laid out month by month over 14 months and each month the program changes as well as the diet as you build and sculpt your physique essentially the program could be used to prepare you for your first bodybuilding competition as the final three months um, you use Vince Gironda's definition uh, routine to get ripped to shreds after building and sculpting all year long the pro series is Vince's final masterpiece in my opinion um, and it's truly for the bodybuilder that wishes to you know take his physique to another level and or become a pro bodybuilder right that, that's basically it. Vince Gironda's most advanced bodybuilding techniques and nutritional diets are explained and the programs uh, the program for the pro series lasts one year with six programs each done for two months uh, this program can be followed or should be followed after the master series right and is absolutely in my opinion mind-blowing in regards to the new techniques you learn you know the new exercises it's just <laughs> unbelievable right uh, for example that's where i got the idea for the video on on uh priming your arm workout by doing squats beforehand that was from the pro series that's one of vince's secrets right you're supposed to do a leg workout prior to arms to make them grow of course i already did a video on that and it's been scientifically proven um, anyway that collection of three books the wild physique master series and the pro series in my opinion are super up for shaping sculpting and gets my boat vote for the best bodybuilding books for an intermediate to advanced bodybuilder now i just want to talk about a few other books these final books besides being honorable mentions i would also recommend for advanced bodybuilders and those that wish to compete or just have a, a, a more complete library right and these of course include i can't say no to arnold right arnold schwarzenegger's encyclopedia of modern bodybuilding as well as his first ever book I mean damn thing so big I can stand it <laughs> right as well as of course 
Arnold, The Education of a Bodybuilder. Both books are excellent in that Arnold shares his knowledge and passion for bodybuilding. You can literally feel, especially in this book, his desire literally jumping out from the pages. I admit, you know, that, for example, that Arnold's Encyclopedia has quite a lot of information. It's probably the biggest book out there on bodybuilding. Um, the book is enormous. It covers everything from programs, exercises, nutrition, posing, oh, I mean, everything, everything, right? It's, it's really a complete book, I have to admit. It's fantastic. Especially, it's, I think it's too much for a beginner. Uh, and in all honesty, it can be used from anyone from novice to advanced, but I just don't think that the novice programs are good at all for, for a beginner. No way. Instead, I would recommend the Encyclopedia for Intermediate to Advanced Lifters. That's really, this Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding, for me, is excellent for an intermediate to advanced bodybuilder, not for a beginner though. Um, the education of a bodybuilder, however, oh man, as I said, this was the first book I ever bought on bodybuilding. It's tattered, you know, it's split, <laughs> breaking apart. I've had it for about 30 years, right? It's, it's like my first bodybuilding book. This is the one, right? Um, it's my, my, one of my personal favorites in that Arnold honestly tells his story and you can really feel how hungry he is, how obsessed, how, how his desire, his incredible need to be the best bodybuilder on the planet. You know, in, in, in my own opinion, it's uplifting and motivating. And if you are a bodybuilder looking at competing or just need a good kick in the bum because you don't want to get in the gym, you know, reading the stories of past champions like Arnold are, are very, very motivating because you learn of all the things that you know people like Arnold had to overcome all the obstacles believe me there are heaps of obstacles that he overcame one after the other and everything he did to get where he is now I mean it's a very very motivating book one of the best books you know especially on for motivating for motivating in general this is one of the best books uh, not even if you're a fitness fanatic or not if, if you want a book that's going to motivate you to do anything and be successful, this is just a fantastic biography by Arnold. All right. All right. Staying now with the topic of bodybuilding. Um, another great book is that of Bill Pearl, right? We have Bill Pearl's Keys to the Inner Universe. Now, this is another favorite of mine, also enormous. Uh, and it's a favorite of mine in that it is one of the few books that has the most, I mean, the most variations of exercises I have ever seen. If you're looking for a book that teaches you the different variations of exercises that exist in bodybuilding, then this book, believe me, it is it. Is it. it is it. I mean, without exaggeration, this particular um, book describes probably, you know, in this book, Bill Paul probably describes over 1,000 different exercise variations you know it is incredible it is really incredible if i was a coach or a gym instructor this would be in my library you know it is just ridiculous it's like a hundred pages of exercises with typically the six six to ten exercises in each of these pages you know and it's about six seven hundred pages long and there's about a hundred pages per body part. Just do the math. It's ridiculous. It's hundreds of exercises per um, per body part. If you're looking for variety, if you're sick of your program and want some variety, this is a fantastic book to um, include in your library because it's going to give you basically every, every every exercise that was ever written right in bodybuilding. So it's fantastic. All right. Um, moving to the last couple of books now that I want to talk about. Another couple of favorites of mine are Frank's recent bodybuilding manual, as well as Reeves's The Classic Physique, The Natural Way. Why did I choose these two books? Well, I think they're especially um, interesting because in these books, the athletes describe their stories and the programs and exercises they used to build their physiques and much more. I would say that these two books are great for the intermediate lifter that wishes to develop an aesthetic and classic physique. Um, Frank Zane's book, for example, is full of programs for beginners. 
if for intermediates and advanced trainees as well as a guide for bodybuilding nutrition with recipes and it even includes Zane's 91, 91 day wonder body program at the end of the book it's, it's a really good book um, it's also Frank's you know it's basically Frank's thesis everything he ever wrote is literally in here that's basically what it is right um, he used to sell a lot of smaller books but then he put them all together in this particular book right here now we've got of course um, Steve Reeves's classic book contains his earliest programs and the programs he used to develop his physique although I would say that the early programs that he describes here the information is a little bit sketchy not much detail that's the only problem I have with the book I wish his foundation training would be better explained um, the book though introduces you to his favorite exercises and his championship bo uh, full body routine that he used for the Mr. America. You also learn what a pioneer, what a true pioneer he was in that he developed many other bodybuilding principles and approaches such as the high intensity principle that would later be adopted by Arthur Jones. He actually started that, believe it or not, uh, as well as Mike Mensah. You know, th these guys, Arthur Jones and Mike Mensah, actually, um, you know, they claimed the high intensity principle, but no. If you read this book, you'll realize Steve Reeves was using it. And maybe people before him, I don't know, but, you know, yeah, nothing's uh, new under the sun, as they say. So, yeah. Um, his high volume approaches, which I've already talked about, for example, his 10 by 12 was later adopted by Vince Gironda as the 10 by 10. So, um, you know, Vince. You know, everybody basically, you know, got all their ideas from, from the Silver Era guys like Vince Gironda and Steve Reeves and Reg Park. I mean, these guys were the true pioneers. It's a fantastic book. You don't just learn Steve Reeves' programs, but you learn all these other programs that he actually used. Like, it's fantastic. Um, final, final book. One final honorable mention is Larry Scott's Loaded Guns. A true gem. Um, even it's, it's even got Arnold's recommendation at the back, right? And I mean, Arnold knows, knows what he's talking about. In this book is where Larry introduces some very advanced concepts and exercises he learned through his time at Vince's gym. See, many of Vince's exercises were developed through the bodybuilders that came through his gym, including Larry. Larry and Vince both worked these things out, you know? So a lot of the exercises that are taught at Vince's gym, uh, Larry and Vince developed. So he has a lot of the knowledge that, that Vince brought to him and he brought to Vince, so this, this exchange, right? Um, yeah, and you can really see why Larry was not just a pioneer in this book, by reading this book, but he was a real genius when it comes to bodybuilding and exercise variations and how to hit particular you know weak points right? and that's what it is he teaches you the most unusual yet effective exercises for hitting your weak points and that's to me the value of this book uh, that is what's so great about this book if you have weak points this book is gold i mean it's just going to perfect your your physique you want to perfect your physique you got a weak point you want to really try something new this is the book it's fantastic um yeah so there you have it. That's my list of the best books that I consider that bodybuilders should own, develop, depending on your on your level, of course. Uh, I've mentioned um, Starting Strength and the books by Stuart McRobert, Beyond Brawn and the Insiders Tell All um, Weight Trainers Technique book. Uh, excellent, those three books for beginners. Intermediate, again, I don't mean to be biased, but I truly believe that Vince's books, The Wild Physique, um, uh, the master series and the pro series are excellent for really starting to shape uh, and define your physique fantastic if you're in that intermediate phase you've already got size you've already got strength you know and you're ready to start you know starting to cap your shoulders get that nice outer edge on your on your um on your chest you want to start developing that peak in your bicep right um yeah all these things you want to get the horseshoe effect on your triceps right all these little details that's where that you start now want to shape your physique and make it really aesthetic trim the waist widen the shoulders flare you know hit the, the upper back all these things right you're going to learn from those intermediate books from Vince Drum the master series pro series and the world physique and I guess if you want to top it off as I said excellent books uh, advanced books I would say uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's books 
um, Larry's Loaded Guns, Building the Classic Physique by Steve Reese, Bill Pearls' The Keys to the Inner Universe, and Frank Zane's A Bodybuilding Manual. I mean, that's it. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm glad I finally did it. It's been a very long one, um, but if you've stayed stay if you stay tuned to this long thank you for watching um leave me your comments and yeah i don't know what else to say um i hope you have enjoyed the video and i hope that it is useful for you um you know remember that you know you need to learn to walk before you can run so if you are at that beginner stage choose the appropriate book for that don't worry about the supersets don't worry about the concentration because that comes later build your foundation once you've got a good strong foundation some size some strength right you've put on a decent amount of size and strength, then start shaping, right? Bodybuilding naturally takes a lot of time. Don't worry about the steroid freaks. Don't worry about that. Just take your time, do it naturally, build your foundation, then shape and sculpt. And then you can start being more selective on which books you want to learn from, right? So I do hope that this guide has helped you. This video can help you be selective. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And leave me your comments again in the comment section. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era book where I'm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises, and believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each. So it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.